We are responsible uh, to the Department of Defense, and we actually provide both commercial uh, and federal sea lift capability. And sea lift implies the ability to pair, to carry cargo, supplies, uh, and that supplies can be everything from tents to rolling stock, aircraft that are crated up uh, to move uh, into theater. But we have the capability to globally project United States assets uh, around the world and then be able to sustain them. Uh, and so we are essentially providing the seafarers, the officers who are gonna serve on uh, commercial vessels uh, to be able to operate in, uh, in US commerce or in special missions. Uh, shipyard uh, construction guys, median income is on the order of about $50,000 and uh, it can range higher to that depending on what your skill set is. Uh, you know, for example, if you're a high-end welder, uh, you probably can make more than that. And again, that, that's not a uh, uh, something that requires a college degree, those, but those are highly skilled trades. Uh, the salaries uh, you know, that you have in logistics uh, really depends on what it is that you're doing. Uh, but typically, logistics providers uh, are going to be on the order of you know, 35, 75,000, depending on the experience level you have. So those, those are good paying jobs. You know, the senior officials, that, what I would call the, 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 the senior executives, uh, they're making uh, somewhere between 160 to one hundred eighty thousand dollars a year. The maritime industry doesn't necessarily have, you know, uh, you know. Obviously, we're looking at engineering, but what we really want uh, is we want folks uh, that are critical thinkers, uh, and you can get those critical thinking skills from any number of uh, curriculums or majors. Uh, but, but typically what you'll see in the maritime industry, and it was the same way when I was, uh, when I was in the Navy, you know, it's hours and hours of boredom, you know, or just sort of the routine, routine. And then you'd have five or 10 minutes of just, holy cow, you know, just sheer terror. And, and you have to be able to, you know, critically think your way through those uh, to be able to handle those kinds of situations. Being a seafarer is pretty demanding. It's like being in the military. Uh, and a lot of folks would understand, you know, military uh, separation, uh, there's a sacrifice that's made. So there are benefits, but there are also challenges, but it's really what you choose to do. And, and there are some, you know, for example, uh, you could be in the maritime industry and you could be a ferry operator, uh, you know, so you, your, your job is, uh, you know, is nine to five or your shift work because some, you know, some ferries you know, operate 24 hours a day. Uh, and so it's just like a regular day job. Uh, so there's lots of different, uh, opportunities and employment, uh, but there is just so much out there that a, a lot of this is just about making, you know, young, uh, you know, school age, high school kids aware that there is another whole industry out there that is calling for them. And I will tell you that the demographic of the folks that are in the industry now, uh, they are older and they're going to be retiring and there's going to be lots of job opportunities uh, for folks who want to, you know, pursue a career in the maritime industry. So it's a pretty exciting time.